G'day legends and welcome back to the video and today is a delivery unboxing a little bit different. This is some stuff that I was given in America. There's a very special car in there. Some stuff that was sent to me by Bauer, which I can't review yet because I don't have any track here in Australia, but I do want to show you what I received and a couple of things that I've purchased along the way. So let's dive into another delivery unboxing. So let's kick off this delivery unboxing with a very special car given to me by Marco from Electric Dreams. A bit of a surprise when I was leaving LA literally at the airport and he pulls this out and says, Trav, thanks for coming. Here is a WRE NSR Porsche Special. Now this is limited to 100 cars. This is number car 64. Yes, I'll show you some close-ups while we are talking. But what makes this extra special is Nemus decided the design on this beauty. Take a look at it. It does look incredible. When it comes to testing it, I will test this back in Australia. I don't have a track in Austria. We do leave in 10 days. So very excited to have this in my collection. Thank you, Marco. It was a pleasure coming to LA but we will test this in the future. If you do want one of these, check out the website, Electric Dreams, to see if there's any available. Let me tell you, this looks incredible, and being in a SAR, I've got a funny feeling it's gonna run really well. So cheers to Electric Dreams. This one stays in my personal collection forever. Next up, I have a gift from Carrera. I was very lucky to do the first live with them. You have already seen this, but I do want to show you some close-ups and thank them once again. This is the AMG GT3 from Bathurst 2023 in the Sunergy livery. And I believe you can get this right now. It was being sent last week to the distributors. So if you do want one of these, jump on it. Australia, get behind this car. It looks incredible. Again, I will do some testing on this when I'm back in Australia. I believe this does have the new compound type Tires, which they are new, they have been around for a couple of years, but all the new release cars that are new molds will get them. So we'll do some testing on that when I'm back in Australia. Love the livery, it was a gift from Carrera. Again, another surprise saying thank you, and they chose a Bathurst livery because I am Australian. So once we're back in Australia, this will go around a track. My Carrera digital track is en route back to Australia as we speak, so this might have to wait until the Carrera track is available. A really cool gift. Again, this should be available now at your stores. Check it out, really cool gift, and I'm just very lucky to receive some pretty cool cars. Next up, a delivery from Bauer. Massive thank you to those legends. I will be testing these once I'm home. Two cars, one shell. The first one is the Ford Capri 1500. Now, if you haven't seen my NSU TT review, well, these things look incredible. And the Ford Capri, it's gonna fit really well in the collection. Can't wait to get home to test this. All my AFX track or my HO track is going home as we speak. I will get my hands on some once I land so I can test it. Looks really good. The detail on this, and again, I will show you some close-ups, is incredible. And we do have the TSCG special Porsche coming out. So one more close look at the Ford Capri. Again, before slot is where you can find all their products. But now let's check out a little truck that they sent me. Yes, they sent me a pretty cool truck and in a really cool case. Now all these items can be found on before slot website. But take a look at this little guy. Really, really cool looking thing. And again, I cannot wait, I hope it focuses on that. I cannot wait to get back to Australia to test some of these. I will give all the specs once I'm back in Australia, but this looks incredible with its little chromies. It does have some spare tires in there, so I can try some different tires. And I also did receive some tires from Show us your slot, some upgraded tires. If they do fit these, I will be running some upgraded tires. And it also came with the water decal slides to finish off the car itself. So really cool, uh, a big thanks to Eric from Bauer. He did send these to me. But the last one is the Pantera Shell. This is a company in America that uh, I think it's a one man band who makes these. I do have the shell, I do have the details on what this will fit chassis wise. But take a look at some of the work on that. I love the, the window surrounds, but once this is finished off back in Australia, and again, I do have some racing tyres for this. It'd be really cool to see. Of course, I'll show some close-ups of all of these. Really big fan of HO. I am pushing HO as hard as I can. We do have the TSCG special coming out, the Porsche. There is 30 of those, so stay tuned for more of that. But a really cool box of goodies from Bauer, if I don't break them. So next up, we have some more HO goodies and I had to make this purchase before I leave Europe. I've been watching these for some time. I had to dive on them. It's Porsche, it's HO, what can, more can I say? It is the Lifelike Racing Pro Performance Racer 
Porsche in its original blister pack. Yes, the blister pack has, has seen better days. It's a bit yellow, but we do have the red. We've also got the green, again, in its original blister pack. And we do have a double, which is another red. Does that mean I'm gonna open these? Definitely not. These will go in my personal collection, which will be displayed in the slot shed once it's finished in 2024. So these won't be reviewed. Uh, I'm very happy to have these in my collection. But I did say at the start of the unboxing that this is gonna be a little bit different because in front of me, I don't just have slot cars. I do have some toys that I wanna talk about that I've purchased and why. So the following items are all random pieces. They are toys and there's a reason why I do collect these. I will explain about each piece when I show you and, and the mad reasons why when I'm out hunting for toys, I grab these. First up is a Funko Pop. We all know the Funko Pop or we should know the Funko Pop. I used to collect these when I was in Australia. I did slow down very heavily years ago, but I still do hunt for the chase pieces. Now, if you don't know what a chase piece is, uh, along nearly any uh, production of toys, there's a chase piece, whatever it's Hot Wheels, Funko Pop, Matchbox, this is a chase. So this is a limited edition glow chase and one of these will be in nearly every box of six. Sometimes they miss the box of six. So you have about a one in 12 chance to get one of these. Uh, the character is positioned differently. This one's a glow in the dark. They might have a different headband on. It's just a little bit different to the original. So for me, this is a sellable item once I'm back to Australia and that will help put funds for the channel or for my slot car collection for reviews. So when I'm at hunting, I'm always thinking about what can I sell to help me move forward with the channel and my collection. So there you go, a little Funko Chase that I found here in Austria. Next up we have another Chase or a rare piece that I was lucky enough to find at the same time as the Funko Pop. It is the Micro Galaxy Squadron Star Wars. Now this is one of 15,000. Uh, it's actually fetching a very, very good price on eBay. Again, I do love, I do love my toys, I do love Star Wars, but I can't keep everything. So this is something I'll be taking back to Australia to sell, again, to help fund the channel. And you can just show you an example of what some of the chases look like on the back, as you can see. This is the chase version of the TIE Fighter, so you can see that it is a different color, but this is one of 15,000. This is a silver chase. There's also a gold chase, which is a one of 5,000 run. So again, this is fetching some money on The paint job on this is the battle worn, so it's, it's seen battle, it's a bit more damaged than the original, and there's a couple more highlights and it's got a bit more metallic on it than the original Razor Crest. So this one will be a little bit harder to find than the original, but it's not a chase, it's a variation, which is really cool to see. Uh, this is a new range, I've only seen these here in Austria. Once I'm back in Australia, I will be doing some more hunting videos because this is the kind of stuff I do hunt so I can find and then sell on to the next person if they don't find it. Because there's a lot of collectors out there and 
It's the same with me with slot cars. If it's something that I don't have, I will then go and try and find it on eBay or something similar. So there you go, another one for the Star Wars fans. So next we have another item to add to my personal Porsche collection. I do collect anything Porsche and this will prove why. The character is called Dead End. He is from Star Wars and that is a Porsche 928 in all its glory. I was so happy to find this. I love Porsche. I do have a fair few Porsche Transformers and I did have to grab this one. I will open this up and probably display him in front of the box. I know where another one is, so I actually might grab one more so I can open it up and display it. But really cool, I like how they use real world cars. There he is, dead end. And this will go into my Porsche personal collection. So to finish off this delivery unboxing with a difference, I'm gonna end on a slot car that I'm so happy I have. And I'm gonna to apologize to Marco right now because this was a happy accident. If he does want it back, I will send it back to him. But I hope he says I can keep it. This was wrapped in t-shirts in my luggage because I was taking it to and from the races and I did not end up racing with it. Hence why it got forgotten in one of my magnetic racing t-shirts. And it is my original race car that I had at the Slotted Nationals 2023 in LA. Uh, it is missing the motor, hence where you can tell this is not a pre-planned uh, decision. Uh, the original motor is in the car that I raced. I will reach out to the legend Rick to see if I can get the motor sent to me to finish off the car. But Marco, if you do want this back, I will send it, but please can I keep it? Um, it's a happy accident and this was the car that was set up for me for the Nationals and I'm so happy that it was wrapped in a magnetic racing t-shirt. So that's a wrap on this delivery unboxing with a difference. I hope you did enjoy the non-slot car related items and a bit of a story behind them and why I do grab them. Uh, a disclaimer, anything I do sell from those collections normally goes into the slot car fund because running the channel, I do have to buy items to review and of course upgrading the channel itself. So my passion is slot cars. But once we are back in Australia, I will be running a second channel alongside the slot car channel. Slot cars is my passion. The news is going nowhere. The reviews are going nowhere. Where I absolutely love and I'm dedicated to the slot car world, but I do hunt for other toys in the background, which I will like to share that with other collectors moving forward. So if you are interested, once the channel is up and running, I will let you know. Uh, I try not to let any toys sneak into this channel, but sometimes you will see a bit of a crossover, but I can't wait to start the new channel back in Australia because I have been collecting a lot of stuff for a very long time, but unfortunately I sold a lot of it when I came to Austria. So. I guess the fun starts again. I'll be hunting again to try and get back that collection. So stay tuned for that. Uh, big uh, thank you to Marco for the NSA and a big sorry to Marco because I do have the slotted Jag with me. All I need now is the motor. I'm looking at you, Rick. Can I have my motor back? But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram and YouTube, if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing. We are back in Australia in about two weeks' time. Very excited, but be safe. Take care. Bye. Bye.